Now that I've been promoted to air strafer, I'm not going to be able to run the shop anymore. As my replacement, you're going to be in charge of the store now. It's weird, I'm holding a gun still. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Today I'll be exploring a game called Sailblazers. Sailblazers is an early access, open world survival craft and simulation game. Basically, you get to play as a shopkeeper while also incorporating survival elements. The combination of survival and simulation is a bit weird on the surface, but as someone who loves these two genres, I definitely wanted to give this game a try. Luckily for me, the devs over at Airstrafe Interactive were nice enough to give me a copy of the game so that I can try it out for myself. Let's get into it. The first thing I do whenever I start up a new game I've never tried before is go right into the settings. Um, part of the reason why I do this is because I try to find if there's any settings that like stand out to me. A good example of this would be something like an arachnophobia uh, setting or something. Uh, those are always really nice to see. I don't expect to see any giant spiders in this game, but I have no idea. If I go to the quality level, let's see. Potato! Potato is a quality level. Wow. So we're going to start a new character. Um. Okay, the female model looks like this. The male model looks like this. Okay. I'm not sure which I want to go with. Not a lot of choices here for uh, colors, but it does at least look okay. I don't see any issues really here. Oh, wow. So different colors. You can put little hearts in your eyes. That's cute. Uh, not a ton of options. I'm not sure if I like the sound for like when I move my mouse across these options. It feels almost like I think the best way I could describe it is that it reminds me of like a typewriter. Like if you close your eyes and just listen to this. It sounds like a, f a freaking typewriter. <laughs> That's such a weird like. Uh, I know that's like s such a minor little detail, but like to me, it just kind of stood out. Like I was like kind of caught back by that. Like I was kind of surprised. All right, we have hairstyles, which I mean, how much is that? Oh, it starts with eyebrows for hairstyles. That's interesting. I guess because you're wearing a cap, huh? I like that there's uh, eyebrow jewelry as options. That's something you don't see a lot in a uh, character creation. I'm going to go with that one. I think that one's cool. Let's see. Facial hair. Oh, I can't go without a mustache. No, I'm kidding. Well, actually, let's check them out. We got we got this one. Oh, that's weird. When you when you blink, your cheeks move up. Oh, that's so weird. I'm <laughs> that's such a funny thing. Oh, it doesn't happen with this one. Is it just that beard? What's going on there? Oh, that's interesting. Unless that was a bug. Here's a nice little uh, mustache. It kind of looks like a kind of looks like a worm, honestly. Uh, I think having maybe a separation line in between the parts of the mustache could help with that. Um, we got the Santa Claus. We got Santa Claus 2.0, and we got uh, whatever that is. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with a mustache. I'm not. I, I don't. You know have a burning desire today to do that so i'm gonna leave that alone um what's weird though is that i don't seem to have a hairstyle color choice here like if i go back it's just and another thing too i've noticed is that the camera moves whenever i go through the menu which is really odd and awkward um i think the char the character should just be like stationary but like spinnable on like a platform or something because then it'd be easier because like moving the entire you know camera like this isn't exactly ideal i mean i've heard i've seen i've seen lots of games that do this but i don't particularly like it personally um i don't like that there's no hair color options um it looks like the hair color comes with the hairstyle which is weird so i guess i'm gonna be a grandma today we have the tank top we got the oh wow we got different colors what's going on here oh but we have our apron so it's not like well actually if i take off the apron Hmm, interesting. We got a white t-shirt. Classic. We got the t-shirt. Oh wait, short t-shirt, which is like a tucked in shirt, which is not bad. White turtleneck. Ooh, I like the turtleneck a lot, actually. Let's go with different colors. Can we get a different color turtleneck? Oh, okay, I think that one's nice. I like that. I like that. And uh, choose a color, just one apron. I wonder if you unlock more colors for the apron uh, throughout there. So it's kind of a weird thing. 
I go to bottoms and I check out the different kinds of bottoms there are, something I notice is I can't actually see the back of my character, which is kind of ironic considering most likely that's all I'm going to be seeing while playing. So I don't know. I haven't gotten in there yet, but it's just something to think about. I like the sweatpants. The sweatpants look good. Yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with um, what is that? Khaki? Khaki brown pants? <laughs> All right, next we're going to go through the accessories. Uh, if we click on the tourist hat, we have different options. They're all uh, very... Oh, wow, that's weird. So I can zoom in and out. Huh. Interesting. We also have glasses. Okay, so that's what I like here is that you, you can wear a hat and glasses, so that's nice. Um, I kind of want my hat to match my apron, so we'll leave it. We got reading glasses. We got... Shoplifter glasses. <laughs> Futuristic glasses. I don't know. These look kind of like Harry Potter glasses to me. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with the reading glasses because, I mean, I can barely read as it is, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Investor shoes. Sneakers with socks. Oh, we can have different options here. Yeah, so... I, like I said, you know, character customization could use work. It's not the ugliest thing I've seen. I've seen some pretty horrendous character creation screens, but not bad. Not bad. Um, all right, let's see. We have accessories and gloves. They're not available. Okay, so it looks like that's not quite in the game yet. And, uh, oh, see this right here? This is something that drives me nuts with so many games. The character name option should not be in my opinion should not be on the same screen as character creation itself like i feel like there should be a button here that says create character and you click and then immediately a window should pop up that says character name insert because what happens is a lot of times people will see create character they won't notice this right away and by the time they read this they're all they've already clicked so they missed their opportunity to name themselves i don't know if you can change your name later um but yeah uh let's go with um shopkeeper sholo there we go yeah let's do that we're gonna create our character shopkeeper sholo has been saved all right so it looks like we have a, a new level zero character cool so confirm Oh, wow. So they just place your character right there. Nice, nice. Something I find interesting, um, I like the music, like the piano music is very relaxing, but I don't know if it gives you a good idea of how this game is going to feel. Because this music right here, I feel like it's very, um, it's very mall piano-like. Like if you've ever been to a mall where someone's playing piano, this is what this reminds me of. Um, but yeah, just, just little minor things. Uh, let's start the game. Oh, okay, so we have three options. We have start game, escape the island, oh wow, load game, which we haven't done yet, and try any level at your own risk, and that's custom map. I'm going to go with the easy stuff, because I don't know nothing. Name your campaign, Shiloh campaign one, difficulty, uh, I mean, we could go on normal difficulty. I don't know if that can be changed later. Well, actually, you know what, I think that's an okay name. Play new campaign... Skip prologue. I'm not going to... Oh, so it looks like you can skip the prologue. That's kind of nice. So if you played before, you can do that. Um, I'm going to go with normal settings just to see. Usually I choose easy, but because I'm kind of testing this out, I'm going to start with normal. Uh, Shello's lobby. I have a lobby. Friends only, invasions friendly, fire password, and peaceful night. What is this? I don't know what these options are. So already I'm confronted with options and I don't know what they mean. So that that's a bit problematic. Um, I wish it like when I hovered this, like it, where if I clicked on it or something that it like a window would pop up here or something that says friends only means blah, blah, blah. Invasions mean blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, some kind of explanation here because it's a little too questionable. And with peaceful night, does that mean that like we're not going to get like a raid or something? Am I right? 
I don't know. But yeah, let's get right into it. Let's see how this goes. And we're going to uh, do, continue our assessment forward. Okay, so this loading screen, really nice. I like that it tells me how long or how far along the loading process actually is. I love to see visual indicators like that. And I like that there's tips. Waiting for players. The what? island, our home which is also home to many dangers. That's why our leader founded the Air Strafer program. The Air Strafers, our greatest heroes. Heroes tasked with finding a new home for us. That's where you come in. As a new shopkeeper, you'll be manning the store, selling them whatever they need. Together, we can face any danger. And who knows, maybe one day, you too can become an Air Strafer. What? Good luck. Hey, I'm Adrian, and I'll be helping you out on your first day. Huh, okay. I did not expect voice acting this early on, but we'll continue. See, daily stretches. Rotate your camera by using the mouse. Okay. Is this stretching? Interesting. <laughs> Move around using WASD keys. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So you face, it's kind of like a, I think a good way of describing it is kind of similar to like a power world setup where you can kind of move your camera around, but like your character faces whichever way your camera's looking. So that's interesting. This kitchen island is beautiful. Absolutely marvelous. Hmm. Cushion wooden chair. I can grab the chair. Oh my God. Am I going to throw? Oh my God. What happened? Oh, hey, I saw you do that. That cushioned wooden chair doesn't belong to you. Okay, I'll give it back. Appreciate it. Please don't do that again. Oh my god. They swarmed me like a, like a, like a horde of bees. Jesus Christ. You saw how fast they came running? They were like, oh, hell no, you're still in my chair. And then they, they, okay, like, I... <laughs> That was so weird. Why can I pick up this chair if they don't want me to pick up the chair? I thought I was going to throw it or something. I'm like, is this a weapon? Like, I'm thinking all these things. Oh, my God. I guess I could just run through. I wish I knew where I was supposed to be going. There's so many, like, I can grab the door. Oh, that's weird. You know what? I'm just going to continue. I'm already lost. Wait, what, what did that sign say? Voice chat. Press V to use proximity voice chat. Oh, so that's kind of similar to, um, I think like VR chat kind of has something like that. Okay. Quest updated, who's this? Should I talk to them? Oh, okay, that was weird. Is this another player? No, these are NPCs, right? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm so confused. Engineer dormitory. Enter survival training. Never to be selfish. Is this it? New totem added to your map. This totem will now serve as your telemed rebirth location. Teleporting to any totem in your personal transport network will set it as your telemed rebirth location. This totem is not yet connected to your personal transport network. Would you like to connect it for teleportation now for free? Sure. You have successfully connected this totem to your personal transport network. You may now use your map to travel to this totem. Nice. Okay, fast travel, looks like. CEO. Who dis? Air Stafford Dormitory? What's in here? I'm looking around. I don't see anything important. Am I supposed to go? Oh, training. There we go. I was like, where am I supposed to go? This place is huge. Like, oh, what? New totem. This totem will now. This totem is not yet connected to your personal. Would you like to connect it for teleport? Sure. You have success. You may now. You. When it says for free, why does it keep emphasizing that? Is it because it's not usually free? This guy looks important. If you haven't already, please check your teleportation tech with the training lobby totem over there. Welcome to the training lobby. What can I do for you? What should I be doing? Shopkeeper, Sholo? A fellow shopkeeper. Looks like it's your first day. 
You'll want to go through these sliding doors to begin your survival training. You can also go through the cafeteria doors behind you to skip survival training. Good luck. Have fun. See, imagine if I ran to the cafeteria, okay? Like, luckily I just ate, so I don't have the urge to run in there, but I could have maybe accidentally skipped the tutorial. That's, that's a problem. There needs to be some kind of, like, indicator. I think maybe, like, some kind of indicator on the ground, like maybe a you know, a carpet or something that kind of leads, obviously, to the training rooms would help. Uh, see, advanced training, survival. Okay, let's do survival. Oh. The island is a deadly place. Okay. Oh, you I... You must be deadlier. Okay. What is this? To achieve greatness, we must leap into the unknown. All right, whee! It's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh, never mind. I can swim. Okay. A prepared body wards off preventable injuries. Prepared body wards off preventable. Wait, why does it say it twice? <laughs> what the? Press space to jump. Okay. See to crouch. Okay. Oh hell no! What is that? Not everybody has the guts to do what you just Would you like to connect it for teleportation now? Oh my god. I'm so over oh, I'm like overloaded with sound right now. You have successfully connected. You may now use your map. Okay, so I don't think I need to hear that same dialogue over all the other dialogues while I'm doing it. It's so like distracting. And then you have these chopping knives. Like this needs to be moved back. It's so chaotic. Like maybe like over here at least where it's a little quieter damn that's like let's see press l control to dodge attacks dodging grants and vulnerability at the start oh okay good to know free training the best must learn how to learn to learn on their own another one new totem at this totem oh this totem my god like connecting Stop reading to me! Dear lord! What is this? Is this an escape area? No, okay, never mind. Press L shift to move faster. Hell yeah. Track stamina on the top left. What the f- Wait, how are you gonna make me- Am I not supposed to jump that? I am supposed to jump that. So why'd you put the thing of- What? That is so confusing. This should be back there. <laughs> Like, like right here is where that sign should be. Like maybe a sign protruding from the wall or something. But to have me jump, like as I'm right under this and then restrict the space makes absolutely no sense to me. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? It's me, Adrian. My oh. buddy let me in the command center so that I could talk to you over the intercom. You'll have to get through survival training first before you can start shopkeeping. I've already prepped your station this morning, so take your time getting used to moving around in this room. Okay. I like that there was a beep at the end, so I know he's done talking. That's nice. New to this totem will now- this totem Oh my like god! To totems! You may now- Just- Ah! I don't need a freaking thingy whenever I talk to- Oh god, that's driving me nuts. Okay. Press E to attach a zipline. Look up at the yellow beam of light. All right. It looks like I can't end it early. Interesting. New totem. This totem. This totem. Oh would you my like god. You may not. Okay. Why is there a totem every few steps? Like I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Oh, can I grab that? Oh, I can. Oh, I can hit things with it. Oh no. Can I drop it? How do I drop the ball? Oh my god. Well, I guess I can just keep it then, huh? Sustenance break. Track hunger and thirst at the top left of your HUD. Something I don't like is for the stamina bar. The f Why is it like in the upper left hand corner of my screen? If anything, it should be lower left or it should be like directly next to my character in like a vertical bar or something. Like that is actually very... Um, very odd. Um, let's see. Track hunger, thirst. Okay. Look at item and press F to pick it up. Oh, I like pretzels, but I don't know. I My doctor said I shouldn't be eating these. Ah, f it. I'm gonna eat it. Okay.
Okay. Nice. Tasty. You know what? I'm going I'm to grab another one and I'm going to keep it in my inventory just in case. Just in case. No one has to know. New to this told us told would you like to connect it? I guess I can connect it. Part of me kind of doesn't want to interact with these totems because of how annoying that is. Standing TV. Can I grab the TV? Will I get in trouble if I grab the TV? Can I grab the sofa? <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Okay, wait, wait. Can I throw this? Can I get... Oh, okay, so I just click on my hotbar and drop it. Okay. Basic mini free freezer? What's in there? Apple juice! Oh, I love apple juice! Okay, we're gonna keep some apple juice. Thank you. Oh, they're different! Good thing I opened the second one. Let's see, grape juice? Ew! Okay, I'm not really... Well, grape juice isn't terrible. Instant noodles. All right. Not very healthy, but it'll fill you up. Let's see, apple juice. Hell yeah, we got more apple juice. Okay, it looks like I can stack six together and more water. Nice. Oh, and it looks like I can stack on the tray too. That's kind of nice. I can take all, scrap all, and exit. Interesting. You know what? Let me just reduce... Oh, wow. So I hit escape to check out the menu and I was greeted with this massive thing that I don't understand. So I'm overwhelmed instantly, but that's okay. I found the cog. So I'm going to reduce the uh, music volume a little bit. Doesn't seem to have helped. Why do I feel like I'm going to get jumped by something? Hold left mouse bus button to perform a heavy attack. Heavy attacks go through blocks and parries. Yeah, show them who's boss. Okay. What? Can I not hit it? Um. Yeah, I don't think it works so well on that guy. Hold and release G to throw items. <gasps> I did not mean to throw that. Congratulations, you made it. You'll be an expert in no time. I bought this for you. I bought this CEO plushie for you. Memento of your first official day as a Shepherd Star Enterprises shopkeeper. We'll celebrate some more with the others in the rec room later tonight. For now, let's focus on shopkeeping. Now that I've been promoted to air strafer, I'm not going to be able to run the shop anymore. As my replacement, you're going to be in charge of the store now. It's weird. I'm holding a gun but still. But since it's your first day, <laughs> pointing I it at him. Set up the displays. You'll just have to take care of the register. When you're ready, just interact with the sign to open up. Oh my god. Why do I feel like that cutscene where I'm just holding the gun pointed straight at him is like a foreshadowing of some kind? I don't know why, it gave me like weird vibes. And it looks like I can't put stuff away, so if I have like stuff in like... Oh, hold on. Let me check my... Let me put the bowl away. There we go. Oh wait, hold on a second. What's that? The CEO plushie. I don't know where I'd put it, but I assume this is still training, so... Cash register... Okay, what's this? Kitchen counter? Modern full fridge? What's in here? Lockpick! I thought I was working here! There's nothing in these, I don't think. That's weird. Why is everything locked up? Oh, and there's the pickup window. Okay, all right. I think I got it. Let me interact with the cash register. Okay, looks like I can't unless I open. Uh Oh, there's auto open close and then there's toggle open close. Hmm. All right, let's get this started and see what happens. Uh oh, people are rushing over. I changed my mind! Go home! Great. 
Oh. Just picking up this apple before I hit the gym. Any idea how much it is? Oh, I can offer discounts. Interesting. Okay. Wouldn't know if I'd get by if I wasn't for all these snacks you sell. Any idea how much it is? Uh, first item sale. Okay. Okay, they seem to accept the prices. Why does nothing have like a label that tells them how much? And why can I haggle? That's weird. Nice work. Keep this up and you'll be running your own shop. Maybe your own district. All air strafers, please report to the meeting room. Oh, I guess we gotta go oh, over there. Right. The boss has a big announcement today. You haven't seen her yet, right? Because you did such a good job today. I'll sneak you in. Just close down the shop and I'll meet you over there. And what happens if I don't close the shop? Actually... I'll sell this real fast. $54 for a sandwich? God damn! That's a scam. I'm closing. Hi, people. Oh, crap! Are these bandits? Holy crap, there's bandits on this island! Luckily, I'm very, uh... Oh. Oh. I'll take all. Yes, please. Thank you. Give me all the great items. Okay, bamboo sword. We have a mop. Let's start with the mop. So, this area looks messed up, so I'm gonna... Can I... Oh! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh wait, what? I came all this way for this. I was hoping for a bit more variety, but this will do, I guess. Uh, I'm glad it will do. Sorry, man. It's just open. Huh? You need help? No. Excuse me, I can't find any drinks in your shop. Could you get one for me? All right, let me find one. Maybe I can have, uh... Well, I guess I can get rid of some of my stock, huh? Oh. Uh... Let's go with that. Whoa. Here's four dollars plus the extra four for your troubles. Whoa. Oh, thanks, man. You're just gonna pay extra like that? Okay. I didn't know people in this town had that kind of money. All right, we sold one item. Oh, there's Pop Pop. He's checking on me. I better crouch. Oh, if he comes over, I'm hiding. All right, hold on. We got a mop. We got a mop. I guess this will do. How much is it? Uh, 15 for a single cup. Holy crap. Whoa. Souvenir. Souvenir, you're on vacation? Then how do you how do you get off the island? Ah, I keep forgetting to put something in the display because I can only put one at a time. That's so lame. Oh, he's sl he's moonwalking. Oh, oh, damn. You got some moves, old man. He got some moves. He over here, he's moonwalking and everything. There we go. Look at him. Woo. Damn, Gramps over here ready to throw down. Oh my god, is there another person here? Oh, I didn't see you. What the hell? $20 for a cup? Whoa. You're out of your mind, man. Why are you spending $20 on a cup? You know what? It never ceases to amaze me how like unrealistic pricing is in video games, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, fine. I'll open. Who the f is laughing over there? Uh, oh my 
my god, what the? What is that? I'm not afraid to use this damn thing. Don't... You know what? I don't like the laughing. I'll cut a bitch, I don't care. What's with these people? Why are they all possessed? That's crazy. Oh crap. came in to help she came in for the assist i love it an apple a day keeps the crazies away i guess so if i go like this boom bamboo foundation um let's see dirt path village floor oh i could have used that instead wait does do the floors mean something else or hold on Okay, so hope that's not made of bamboo. Oh, it probably is, huh? Okay. Flamingo wallpaper, square roof, village stairs. Okay, the stairs might be useful. Unassigned. needs oh so i have to hover overlapping the same building piece hold on uh needs so hold on i i'm a little confused if i so if i place the stairs uh, normally village stairs. Needs. Okay. Does it just work? Oh, it does just work. Okay, I was- that was confusing. Um, let's try and move the... You know what? I think I'm gonna leave that alone. I think we're probably going to start doing some war stuff out here, fighting people. Uh, I'm also running out of things to sell, which is not good. So what is this? Bamboo cup? Oh, I need a bamboo cup to make the freaking... Okay, and I have no bamboo. So that that's actually very bad. Um, I've somehow managed... Oh, wait, I can place seeds, can't I? Okay, hold on. I think I can place seeds. Let me let me try. Wait. There we go. Wow. I can't even. Jesus Christ, I can't even. I mean, they can just give me all their stuff, too. That works. Oh my god. Come at me, bro. What the hell is happening over here?
consider this an enormous blow struck against the Ronin. Thank you for your help standing up to them. Please accept this token of our appreciation for showing the... Sailblazers is a very interesting game with a really good concept. I can see myself playing this game for hours once the game is officially released. In its current state though, I cannot. This game needs a lot more time in the oven to work out the game breaking bugs I've randomly encountered throughout my playthrough. I would get hooked into the gameplay elements, selling items to customers, expanding my shop, and sustaining myself like I would any survival game. There were a few times where the customers would just stare at me, awkwardly and never actually come up to check out. When I would interact with them, they would claim that they just checked out my shop and were on their way home, but they weren't. They didn't even pay yet. They just stood there. I also think the interface needs a lot of work, especially when it comes to inventory and storage space. The lack of sorting functions and the occasional accidental recycling of an enemy death box was frustrating after a while, leaving me wondering what it was I accidentally got rid of. The building system felt stiff and confusing, making it difficult for me to build a visually appealing shop since I couldn't get squares to align properly, no matter how many times I started over. I also felt that the game overall didn't do a good job of communicating potential cause and effect scenarios. I would be caught by surprise sometimes by performing simple actions, which would cause an uproar or negative consequences immediately afterward with no warning. The character creation was also very basic having very few options for customization. So would I recommend Sailblazers? Well, it depends. If you're looking for a polished game, this is not the game for you. 
I do think this game would be one I would see myself playing a lot as it improves and progresses over time though, so I wouldn't entirely rule it out as something I would eventually recommend, but with the current price tag of about $30 on Steam, I don't think I would recommend this game in its current state at the current price tag. That being said, if what you saw today was enough to get you to want to try the game yourself, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. In case you're wondering, my name is Sholo Q. I'm a Sholo Eats Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and post my schedule every Sunday on Twitter, the YouTube Community tab, and my fandom Discord. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, Sholo out.